and we go racing for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Good launch for Max Verstappen, and immediately they're going to go wheel to wheel. Side by side they go into turn one. Will we go three wide in there? Verstappen has the inside line. Max Verstappen has the lead of the Grand Prix as he runs Lewis Hamilton wide. And what a move to the inside for Oscar Piastri, who moves up to second position. Hamilton from pole down to third. An amazing getaway. The two Brits go wheel to wheel. Verstappen has the lead. Then it's Piastri. Then it's Lando Norris. No grip, no traction, no drive for Lewis Hamilton. The launch there and the drive phase. That's why Verstappen was weak last time out at Silverstone. Sorry about that, guys. Don't sweat it, Lewis. It's uh, going to be a long, hot race. So wow. Incredible that he could be apologising so early. You could see Joe had anti-stall. That was the reason why he dropped down through the field. And where is the contact at the back? They tripped over each other. Now, Ricardo went into the back of Ocon. Joe had anti-stall. That's, that's a bit of a shocker for, uh, for Joe from his best ever qualified position. Look at Ricardo now. He's the car ahead, and he's just going to just drift in. Or is it Joe? It, oh, it's... it's uh... Joe into Ricardo into the Alpines. Yeah, so Ricardo gets uh, carte blanche for that then. He's out of control because he's hit from behind into Ocon. It's a bit 2021 again, but this is in the dry. I think uh, this is going to be terminal, please. Wow, Alpine having such a disappointing day. Both cars are out again. And they're in the clutches now of Perez, who is sent to the outside with DRS enabled. What sort of drive does he get? Tries the switchback move, but he's on a harder compounded tyre and Alonso stays ahead. Double DRS though, Perez has it again. Now you can pass on the outside, but Alonso is wary of that and he sends it deep on the brakes. So he doesn't give Checo the chance to do the Lando Norris lap one move. Now the second Red Bull looking to make the move that's been coming for a couple of laps and finally Perez gets to the inside. Alonso will try and fight it, but it's a second DRS zone for Perez to extend ahead. Mexican driver up to seventh place. Norris trying to secure back-to-back -back podiums. Pressure on the McLaren team. Now, he's two seconds away from his teammate. This is undercut territory for Norris on his teammate. It's a good stop again, then. Norris is eight-tenths quicker as he comes through. Fastest middle sector of anyone. So this is going to be very, very tight as Piastri peels into the pit. Can they deliver a 2.3? That looked very good. Oh, two seconds is exactly what Piastri needed, but Norris is very, very close. Norris with those tyres fired up. The two McLarens wheel to wheel, and Norris's outlap absolutely outstanding. The British driver goes through and up to four. Charles Leclerc won't be in the best of moods, and he's trying to scare Stroll out of the way. We've made our way through turn one. This is turn two. Is the room there? How brave is he feeling? The answer's very. That's ninth position, and that's an efficient move for Charles Leclerc. Here's a pass for Sergio Perez. He's going back past Carlos Sainz. You can see all the marbles off the racing line. The Red Bull getting very, very close to the Ferrari, but making its way by, and that's now sixth position for the Mexican driver. Checo gets down the inside of George Russell. Or does he? Eventually, Sergio Perez fires his way through. Russell wasn't prepared to give it up. He left the room. He had the better traction heading down the hill, and they went side by side through three. I thought we were heading to contact. How is that not contact? Sticking a nose in on the entry of three. Perez thinking about the move. It's the closest that he's been all the way through now. He's going to have a great opportunity in the second DRS zone. Perez trying to take fourth place in the Hungarian Grand Prix. Hamilton will hug the inside line and he will say, go to the dusty, dirty part of the track. Better traction for Perez, but no drive. Hamilton defends again. Big lock up from Leclerc, but I think he'll be OK with that one as he comes for a pit stop. This is undercut territory for him on his teammate. So Leclerc, I think, has been given this chance to undercut Sainz after he was on the radio complaining that he couldn't go quicker. This was Charles Leclerc with the moment, the lock-up, that added five seconds to his race time via the penalty. We move now to Piastri being attacked by Sergio Perez. Perez, there's the late defensive move from the Australian driver who hugs the apex. He says, go the long way round, nothing between the two of them, but it's better grip, better traction than the DRS and fourth position for Sergio Perez. Perez needed that. That was an aggressive move around the outside. Piastri not giving it up as he runs out onto the grass. So brilliant piece of driving from both drivers there, not to have contact. 
Lewis Hamilton comes into the pits to get rid of those old hard tyres. Up to P2, restored to second place, goes Lando Norris. Yeah, that's the best thing for Norris. He doesn't have to deal with passing Hamilton, losing time. And Piastri has got Lewis Hamilton, who adores this racetrack, all over the back of him with DRS. Same power unit for both of the cars. And Hamilton takes the pass on the inside, gets the DRS again, and Hamilton disappears down the road. Easy move, up to four. Is this even going to be a contest for George Russell on the medium tyres? Waiting to get the power down. Sainz just doesn't have the purchase at all. And Sainz offers a defensive shape because he's got no other option. But Russell will sail on by with the use of DRS. And that's seventh place. Now here is Logan Sargent. He was under pressure. He had uh, Sonoda in there. And round he went. Round goes the Williams driver. And through went Sonoda and Joe Guan Yu as well. Every bit of lack of concentration for uh, for Sergeant late on in the Grand Prix. Turned it in, had a little uh, hit of throttle, and it just upset the, the tyres. Red Bull round the final corner on a day to celebrate for the team and driver. The Dutch driver has dominated once more. Seven victories in a row for Max Verstappen, who wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. And that long-standing record is gone. 12 wins in a row for Red Bull in Formula One. They take the consecutive win record away from this team, from McLaren. And I don't think McLaren will mind too much because they are resurgent in the hands of Lando Norris, who is on his way to just his eighth Formula One podium. What an outstanding drive once again. He lost the position to his teammate at the start. He calmly retook it in the pit stop sequence. Lando Norris back on the second step of the podium. What a July he is having. And across the line, Perez recovers from ninth to third, chased all the way by Lewis Hamilton. Not a bad race car, is it? Controlled that beautifully. Congrats. Well done, mate. That is win 44 for you, 12 in a row. And that is history. <laughs> what an unbelievable rocket ship that was today. That was so enjoyable to drive. Unbelievable. Well done, guys. 12 in a row. Unbelievable. I think everyone uh, can be really proud of that achievement, but also with today. But that was unbelievable. Thank you. The runaway championship leader. You could hear the smile in his voice. Let's go to Lando. Let's go! Yeah, baby! 12 in a row for the magnificent Red Bull Racing team who extend their lead in both championships once again. And we were reminded of the driving prowess of Lando Norris, who looks the driver closest to Verstappen. But that said, no one is close to Verstappen at the moment after another entertaining Hungarian Grand Prix mastered by the Dutchman.